One of the first businesses to complete a SPAC merger and list on the stock exchange this year was the Los Angeles-based banking app Dave, which started trading on the Nasdaq in January. Billionaire investor Mark Cuban backs the platform and it gets a lot of attention for this reason. For the unfamiliar, Dave is a banking app and it creates products that level the playing field in the world of finance. Millions of users use the app's financial tools to bank, set budgets, avoid overdraft fees, locate employment and establish credit. Dave reportedly added 340,000 new members and its total count has increased to 6.4 million. The company believes that through marketing investment and new products, it can quickly gain a share in the booming but underserved market of more than 150 million people. In 2022, companies that went public through SPAC mergers and initial public offerings did not see the desired response. The spread of the Omicron variant and the war between Russia and Ukraine affected the market negatively. And then rising inflation and an increase in interest rates upped the volatility in the equity markets. With that said, let's have a look at how Dave is faring in the stock market. On Tuesday, the stock surged 4.3%, although it is still down 95.3% from its all-time high of 15.34 per share. Dave has declined massively as it fell over 90% year-to-date and around 64% over the past month. Its relative strength index value is 22.3, which could mean that traders are overselling the stock. In the first quarter of 2022, Dave's GAAP operating revenues amounted to 42.6 million US dollars, which is up from the 34.4 million in the first quarter of 2021. Meanwhile, the company posted a net loss of 34.8 million as compared to the net income 3.9 million in the same comparable period. What's your take on Dave? Let us know in the comments and hit that bell icon. I'm Holly Shields for Calcoin Media.